got it done for the most part there are going to be some kids come up from church in the youth group and help finish dragging some brush out dump those piles over on the side the piles of leaves so that's the brush I got stacked up all on the side and these are the lusters I'm sure proud for Mr. and Mrs. Vaughn that showed up today and brought a chainsaw and a weed eater because basically I was doing it all by hand so I had it cleared out around these stones here not that good come in and tighten that up basically I cleared back to this big oak tree right here all this here except for a little bit right there that he cut in this corner and on the side cut some more of that down but I had that all looking fairly well about wore me out and then I got back here to uh, my kinfolk <laughs> and uh, I started in on this this morning so I cut all these uh, little trees out I didn't get them all Mr. Vaughn showed up and helped with that big old steel so here's Vincent that's the very first Vincent Easley and so all the stones are knocked down but these were the I guess the, what would you call them, footstones? But they, they match, correlate here to these stones that are laid on the ground. So this is Nancy W. Um, she was Vincent Easley's wife. Her maiden name was Vincent. So, and let's see here. Vincent, uh, his dad, Stephen, came here in 18, or 1780. And he was born, Vincent was, in 1790. So there were several children down the line, and Vincent was uh, one of them. So his brother, Thomas, will be back yonder. Can't see it through the trees, but another hill. And then uh, their dad, which is not confirmed to have been buried there, but his, their brother, John, is. So three brothers, and then Peter Vincent, or I mean, Peter Easley, uh, I believe he went to Indiana, and that I don't know. There was a, there was several kids. There was 12, 14, or 16, sometimes through this bloodline here, uh, on down the line. So there's Nancy, Nancy Vincent. Here's Albert. Look at this. He was 99, would have been 99 years old when I was born on the same day. But he was born and died October the 15th. Uh, Gone to rest. Gone to rest, as so, uh, Stone says. And uh, not sure who this is, but uh, must have been a son. Um, so his name is Elbridge V. Easley. I guess his middle name was Vincent. And he was born in uh, September the 12th. 1825 and died at July the 21st of 1883 and I don't know what this means and I can't quite read it all and he was not for God something him I don't understand it and that one word right there is probably crucial look for, for God look him I don't know, it might be a typo in there, or it just may not be able to read what it says. Anyway, so these all these stones have fell, fallen down, <coughs> and uh, I guess it'd just be best to leave them laying down. They're broke. Somebody stood that up. So me and my brother Victor came here, and this is the stone I found, V-E, right there. And I was thinking it was marked into a field stone, but... These other ones, I didn't find none of them. They were laid down and covered over. And somebody stood this one back up since. So, bless your heart. And there's where I camped out at last night. Now, down through here, there's a lot of field stones. And if uh, information is right, there's... Uh, some slaves and uh, three Confederate soldiers that was born out, are buried out here. Three Confederate soldiers were buried here. 
And there's some unmarked graves through here. We'll have to go back through the woods here in just a minute. I kind of skipped that. We uh, left some of it wild back there. Now here's two children, Charmy and Nancy Stacy. I'm sorry, Mary Stacy. They were the daughters of J.C. and A.L. Childress. So here's more field stones. Field stones. And these are some indentions. There's field stones over here. Now, this tree right here, this is in honor for uh, any of my ancestors who held slaves. And they did. Now, I've seen some records on that. It's pretty expensive uh, to buy a person. But this is uh, representing being bound. So, uh, in honor of uh, the departed and those people that were imprisoned or whatever you want to call slavery. It was a terrible, terrible blight on our history. All men should be free. And this right here, this man. Burt Ward, and here he sunk, right here. So I'm standing down in the depression. Look at there, died 19 and 71. So he is 72 year old. I don't know who Burt was. The man said that there's uh, there's lots of wards around here, or well, it had been at one time. So it kind of throwed all this stuff off on the side. It can rot, or them boys can drag it out. <clears throat> This is a game trail, and then they'll, they'll be fine. Oh, dear. He come in last night and snorting at me a couple of different times. Kind of got a little of his trail covered over here, but there's there's other trails through through here. Now, let's uh, look up here. There's some indentions up here. <clears throat> this old deer Waller's right here lays down in it, but I'm not sure whether this would be a grave right here. Somebody point down in it right here. Or not. So left a little bit of wild in here. And of course, all back through there. Down there's a trail. The trail. This is a regular, regular route for uh, between wherever they're going and where they're coming from, but it connects to Bay's Mountain. So we've got a lot piled up here. Up, oh, I missed one. We'll throw it back up there. That's the fence line back up through there. So we left the edges filled up with trees. Well, I gotta pack up. I guess we got rain coming. <clears throat> I pun more out. But it was awesome. Felt really good to do it. Took skin off. I don't think you can see it. When wow. crying over that little thing. <laughs> Them dogs they barked and barked and barked for almost all night. And then uh we called in I called in. We did, all of us right here, but I was the only one talking to uh, Freaker's Ball on Real Liberty Media and talked to Grimner Moose Girl. So that'll actually be recorded. I'll be interested in hearing the ghost stories. <laughs> I'll share that link when I put this up. Here we are, though. And I guess I'd look at these big oak trees. Things huge, huge, huge. That's a big one over there. And that one fell. Remember, move slow. But there's big oak trees on four corners of the graveyard over yonder, and then in the middle, that big sucker over there, pretty close to the corner, and at the front right there. So we've opened this up. Um, I wore out, so I'm gonna. I'm going to leave all the other trees. I chopped all the, all the trees, the little tiny things, like these right here, out from over there. But, uh, Mr. Vaughn, I think, is going to come back with a lawnmower at some point in time. If it's not raining, probably this weekend. So I tried to do a rubbing with the crayons. Not so good. Charcoal would have worked better. But I've read most of the information. I was able to cipher it. I, uh, so I used a crayon over here. And, and I hope nobody's mad, but it'll come off over time. But just to uh, highlight that. And I still ain't figured out what that last word is. Something... I 
I think I wrote part of it down. To memory something. D E. I can't make it out. But I tried to crayon on it a little bit. Because still couldn't pull it out. Anyways, there it is. Sure enjoyed this. And now I need to pack up. Now I got a mess. Before it gets raining on me. Okay. And there's the uh, the bound tree. So remember to live free and do unto others. And here comes the wind. <laughs>